Hi everyone, welcome back. BarcodeArena.com YouTube channel. The episode today is connecting the MC9200 with Windows Embedded Handheld Operating System to your Wi-Fi network. And this MC9200 is factory state, so when you turn it on for the first time, we're walking you through exactly what to do, and let's get started. First thing we want to do is optimize some of the Wi-Fi radio settings before we even go to connect to our network. Click your Windows Start icon. Click your Settings gear. Connections. Wi-Fi. And this setting up at the top, we'll drop it down and change it from work to the internet. It's a much more open setting for browsing web pages and external websites and things like that. And also in Wireless Manager, double check and make sure your Wi-Fi radio is on. Um, right here you can see it's on. If it was off, it would show like this. So we've got it on and we're going to escape back to the home screen here. Right here on the home screen when you have this section of the home screen highlighted and magnified, you can see Wi-Fi is magnified. It will give you a button down here at the bottom for Fusion. Fusion is the name of the Wi-Fi firmware driver that is the user interface and firmware that powers the wireless functionality. So highlight Fusion for Wi-Fi, click Fusion to open up the user interface, and go ahead and click Options first. It's going to pop up just some options settings, drop down here, click Regulatory, uncheck 802.11d. It's a really common setting that 95% of networks won't allow the device on with that extra firmware functionality. Band selection, you've got both enabled, which is great, and click OK. Now that we've got 802.11d disabled, we'll pull up Fusion again and find wireless local area networks. It's going to scan for Wi-Fi networks in range. When you find your network, click it, and once it's highlighted, hold your stylus over it a second time to right-click it and select Create Profile. Here we are in our Wi-Fi setup wizard. Just the name of your network is Step 1, click Next. Operating mode is Infrastructure, click Next. This part you'll want to double-check with your network guru or network administrator or log into your router and make sure that you've verified your password protected Wi-Fi network is encrypted by either WPA2 or if it's pre WPA2 let's say WEP you'd select legacy um, for most people you're going to be in WPA2 personal, which is normally the factory state settings of your router's security mode if you're not customizing it beyond just the password. So authentication type, you'll leave it none. Click Next. Um, you can just leave fast roaming enabled. Click Next. Encryption type for most factory state Wi-Fi network security settings is AES and that is our case. We'll leave it at that. Again, check with your network administrator to verify how your security on your Wi-Fi network is encrypted. It is either going to be TKIP or AES. In our case, it's AES. You have to have that selected correctly to match your network in order for it to connect. Um, our password is a password, so you'll select passphrase, and that's for most networks. Um, I'm gonna keep the security, this password entry masked, so you can't see our password. Click next to enter in the password. It is case sensitive, so even if you have one capitalization of a letter wrong, it won't connect properly. Got a typo. 
try this again. Once they match, click Next. We're doing DHCP, where the network access point is automatically assigning our IP credentials. If you're more advanced, you can uncheck automatic IP authentication, and you can do a static if you prefer, and you could also do a static DNS for more advanced networking people. Click Next. We always go with CAM, which is the highest performance setting and we're optimizing for data in this case. These will support push to talk as well. Click save and that will input our network into the list of profiles 101. That is the factory state profile and what you want to do is click it to highlight it, hold your stylus over the highlighted network to right click it and you must disable this. If it's not disabled and you disconnect from your network, the gun will try to connect to every network in the list starting from the top. So if you've ever seen your scan guns just hang and not reconnect automatically, it's because it's trying to connect to this dummy network and that's why you want to be sure to disable it. Now that we've done that, click OK and there's one more step. You can see our signal is very good. You want to click Fusion and we're going to permanently save this setup so we never have to do it again. If you ever constantly have to reset up the guns for people out on the floor it's because you must open up the options from fusion and drop down the list click import export and we're going to export and you can overwrite any conflicting records it's going to export everything we just set up export to file save it And that's it. You're on the network, connected, and permanently saved for any booting. Anytime it cold boots, warm boots, reboots, it's going to boot right up and connect right onto your network. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.